fell back to the video uh, on the collection. So this shoe was um, like kind of a rumor to release. Um, and then uh, during the craze for the dunks, um, they released a uh, grade school kids and youth um, Tiffany dunk that was just black and white with a Tiffany colorway. And then they released uh, the Green Glow Jordan 1 that had like the uh, Nike Dunk SB um, C Crystal colorway. Um, and then uh, so they kind of just uh, started throwing all these uh, Tiffany colorways out there. And I was just like kind of like getting impatient on waiting for a pair that I needed, a rare pair. And um, so then this one surfaced that it was going to release. So I kind of just sat tight and I didn't... Uh, go and get like uh anything to do with the tiffany dunked because i kind of was just hyped up for the colorway so i waited because i knew this one would come out so uh it didn't release it was taking forever for it to come out and it just kept saying uh during the the summer or or just uh, uh sit tight it's gonna come out so i was just like i'm not gonna wait any longer so i started to just go on different websites and I stumbled across a Foot Locker website one day, and it was, um, it was just on their website. So I, I kind of, like, had second thoughts, like, oh, I don't want that shoe. I don't think it's what I think it is. Um, uh, basically, I was thinking it's just the color blocking for the kids' uh, Tiffany or the youth grade school Tiffany dunk that was released. Um, same color blocking and everything, but only this is a Jordan and it wasn't a dunk. So I kind of was like, no, nah, I don't think it's kind of like based on that. Um, but then I kind of was like, had second thought. So I kind of just waited and waited. So like, I think like after the second day, I was just like, I got to get that shoe. So I ordered it off a of Foot Locker um, through like Nevada, Las Vegas. Um, and then it came finally. And then I just kind of was like, well, I scored, I guess. But then... Um, I was kind of like, well, I don't know if it's the shoe I want. I thought it was going to be because I don't know if it's the colorway. But then it ended up being, yeah, the Tiffany colorway. Um, so uh, it came out in a low top version. Um, and then uh, it came out in the mid version. And then they came out with the green glow Jordan 1. And then they came out with a bunch of different green glows. And then the kids uh, Tiffany Dunk came out. And then... Um, basically this was like the color blocking for the tiffany dunk so you had the black the white um almost like the panda color blocking colorway so you had the black and white and then you had the tiffany color and then but this is like the air jordan version of it so yeah just kind of like uh a quick little view it's very clean as uh, a silhouette um it's very sudden very like simple color um it just has the tiffany colorway um, through the whole shoe um, and then it has like the panda color blocking but yeah that's a uh, Jordan 1 uh, with just the Tiffany colorway um, just something rare that I needed and I kind of wanted just because I was already messing with that Tiffany colorway so I was just ready on that uh, colorway craze um, so I got lucky with a couple of pairs that were just basic that kind of just rare to have um, so this next one also kind of was like in that category of like rarity, uh, but it was just like a, a sleeper shoe, like, um, nobody kind of really knew. Um, and then, uh, I seen this on, uh, websites. Um, I seen it on, uh, sneaker news. I seen it on, um, different, um, outlets of websites. And then I seen it in stores and then I seen it on the shelves of different stores, but I kind of just waited and I didn't really know about the shoe. I didn't do no research, but it's the Air Jordan one low, um, elephant print. Um, just basically the Air Jordan one elephant print or off nor print. Um, and then, uh, on the Jordan one low. Um, so, I kind of was searching for something crazy, something that just nobody was going to expect, nobody would have. So at the time, they were coming out with a bunch of panda dunks, panda colorways, uh, panda color blocking, and just different stuff with the panda um, craze for the panda dunks. So I seen this uh, on the website, on Nike website, and I just kind of was like, that's just like straight trash like it's like there's nothing even special about the shoes they're releasing right now especially stuff like this was just like boring and it just does not it's i mean it's a it's a nice jordan but 
it just doesn't have no like nothing of my interest but then I kind of did a little bit of research closer to it and I kind of started to pay attention to the shoe to where people were wearing um, this like elephant print or this off nor what they what they call it. it's like a like, cement elephant print so I, I started to notice a lot of people just wearing it and I was like what's so popular about it like then I came across the Jordan 1 um, black and white uh, panda elephant print and I was just like uh, there's no big deal about that shoe um, it's just the Jordan 1 colorway color blocking but then I kind of was like I don't know something about this shoe so I started to just follow like the trend of it and just kind of paid close attention then that's when I kind of was like I think I need this shoe so I kind of just found this shoe it was on the Nike website so I went to like my local retailers to pick it up to find it and it just wasn't the same as the Nike uh, release or the Nike material or the Air Jordan material. So then um, I waited uh, no longer and then I just went and bought it, purchased it. I didn't hesitate for the purchase because I knew this was something rare. So um, at the time I uh, kind of purchased it, I was um, looking at a lot of shoes and then they released uh, the Air Jordan 1 Reverse Panda. So then I was like, oh yeah, this shoe is the shoe that I needed because they already released the Air Jordan 1 Reverse Panda and then it was already surfaced. And then, um, so when I actually picked this shoe up, I kinda uh, went back to my old roots and watched uh, videos on dunks. And then um, uh, the dunk that popped up with this pattern is called the Entourage um, dunk from the, um, the TV show Entourage that used to come on HBO. So um, on the TV show, they had this like scene where they were going to go meet somebody and there was like a line of sneakerheads in line for a, a shoe um, that was designed by a guy named Turtle and then he called it the Entourage Dunk. So basically that's what this shoe um, had the pattern of and then it was reversed for like the same color um, pattern blocking of the Air Jordan 1 Reverse Panda. So uh, kind of just made sense why this shoe is blocked, color blocked that way. And then why it has uh, the little bit of white um, on the, or the like uh, elephant print color on the back. So this is basically just like a, a ghost, a reversed entourage um, panda um, Jordan 1 low. Uh, but yeah, just a, just a gem, like a hidden gem I just picked up. Um, there's no actual like info that that's what that shoe is, but that's just basically what the um, pattern or silhouette is uh, for that Jordan One Low. So uh, recently, I just kind of haven't been picking up anything because nothing crazy came out. And then this year, I missed my um, Galaxies because they didn't release, so that was one pair I needed, but. Since it didn't release, I kind of wasn't bummed because I could just wait another year for it to come out. So then uh, I kind of just started chasing stuff I, I kind of was uh, wanted, but um, just kind of waiting because they're releasing stuff like randomly and I don't want to miss a release and waste all this money on old stuff when I could just be getting new releases. Um, so then nothing was floating around and it was just like dead. Um, the whole sneaker craze, the whole hype, and then the releases were dead. So I kind of just went back to my old roots and I just started um, going like sneaker hunting like I used to back in the days. Um, and this next pair right here is a Jordan 1 uh, Reimagined Royal um, High OG um, Suede. Um, so a little story about the shoe. I kind of just went back to my old roots. I uh, started to go to malls and stores and just hunting for for that gem or that grill. And then um, the shoe kind of surfaced uh, and people were kind of just throwing it around and just uh, kind of just not disrespecting it, but just like throwing the shoe around like it was just like a general release. So um, the whole time... Uh, during this craze of dunks, they were started to reimagine and then remaster, recreate, and then um, kind of like uh, bring back the old uh, retros and the old Jordans, and then um, bring back the like old colorways into like a recreated version. So I kind of didn't like chase that hype. I was just like, 
uh, it's not it's not it's not for me i already like went through that phase but uh i did i did understand and i i did like some of the shoes but just nothing crazy i wanted to collect but um i kind of had pairs but i just returned them or sold them because they weren't moving they weren't moving the prices i needed and they weren't going up in value and there's just nothing i just really wanted to wear but then um i kind of just went to my old roots because uh, nothing was coming out and then i came across um trying to chase the this shoe and another shoe that was jordan's um but i just wasn't gonna pay the the high price and i was gonna wait for them to go on sale and i kind of had my eyes on them but it was just like in the very very back of my mind that I was going to eventually get it and collect it because I just thought it wasn't going to be what I thought it was. So I seen uh, people with them, and then I seen DJ Khaled. He kind of posted a picture with Jay-Z. I think he was wearing them. They're just the blue suede. Um, and I was like, there's no way I'm going to get that shoe. It's just not, it's nothing. It's just like, not trash, but it's just casual. It's just another day, everyday Jordan. So I did some research, but not too much because I wasn't really caring. And then I waited for this shoe to kind of surface, and it never surfaced, and it never went on sale. So I just put it in the back of like my mind that I'm not going to get it. So then I went back to my old roots to try to find a rare pair, and I stumbled across this pair at a shoe store. I took a chance. It was cheap. It was 100 bucks. Picked it up, called it a day, went home, figured I'd throw it in the collection. And maybe if it made it to the collection, but... If not, I'll just return it and get something better. But then I kind of did some research, and then the research was saying that this shoe is very rare. It's called the Reimagine OG Royal Jordan 1 High Suede. Uh, I guess it's rare because it's all suede. Um, but to me, it was just like, I could have just, if it was that rare, I should have just got it from Nike. I should have just got the Nike pair because I picked this up from a secondhand retailer. But then the information said that any retailer that sells this shoe, um, that's an official Jordan retailer, um, that it's authentic. So I basically came across like a holy grail of grails. So yeah, I got lucky with this one. Just took it back to my old roots and then uh, kind of scored with that one. So at the time uh, I picked that one up, um, I kind of got lucky because I wasn't really like... Um, trying to pick up something like crazy um i just got lucky but prior to picking that one up i had already had another pair that i kind of was just set and i was kind of like not aiming to get anything because i was already picked up another shoe that i was just gonna sit on and wait for it to get uh the status it, uh popularity and turn into like some hype girl or some gem and then um which is this shoe, which is the Air Jordan 1 High. I'll do this one. I'll do a video, another video of this shoe on the next video.